Well, it was a hero's welcome for veterans in Kelly or as students honored America's heroes. In this week's Community Spotlight, our Josh Peterson shows us how after 50 years, Vietnam veterans were officially welcomed home. In Kellier, the schools have always held a special Veterans Day program with every branch of the military represented. However, this year, this group of Vietnam veterans were officially welcomed home and thanked for their service. We have quite a few veterans in our VFW post that were in Vietnam. So we decided that we would do it. So we became a commemorative partner with the, Viet the Vietnam Commemoration Board. Through song. And in their own words, Maybe we owe them for not being extraordinary, but for being extraordinary. Students thanked and shared their thoughts. Some gave up their families, some gave up their schooling, some gave up their jobs. They gave it all up to fight. If we didn't have the brave people protecting us, that things in our country would be a lot worse and different. Each veteran's name was read aloud. Tony Long. And each were presented with a letter, a pin, and later a rose thanking them for their service, leaving each veteran feeling proud, especially after being saluted by the entire student body. I thought it, they, they did a real nice job. Uh, the, Mr. Afield, uh, when he had the kids stand up and showed them how to stand at attention and <laughs> salute, I, I, I got a, I enjoyed that. For these veterans, each felt proud and uplifted, while also hopeful for the next generation. I think that they, they showed a lot of respect today, uh, the student body, and uh, they were very attentive and uh, respectful. And what we have in this country, uh, it's only been through the, through the difficulties of wars that uh, we've been able to develop the country that we have now. In a land that is home of the free, we remember the brave and continue to honor them through the red, white, and blue. With this week's Community Spotlight in Kellier, Josh Peterson, Lakeland News. If you enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland PBS.